I guess this could be a good time to show you guys my new uh, Dremel carving table. <laughs> Hi, Lee. How you doing, Lee? So, as many of you know, as many of you might know, I've been getting renovations in my place where I live. And I tore down my number first uh, Dremel carving table, and I had to rebuild the new one. So... I got all the room painted here, the ceilings painted. I got uh, the f new floors underneath here. I put this stuff down. Well, the renovation company put this stuff down for me to protect the floors. This is a table. This is a old desk I bought for $20, solid wood. It's uh, oak, I believe, and there it is. So, you know, last my last table, I didn't have a desk. I didn't have drawers. But um, you look in these drawers. So that will be my little tool, tool, tool thing drawer with screwdrivers and stuff like that. Got that will be my diamond bit drawer. Oh, that drawer. Never mind that drawer. Um, my Dremel hang. First of all, let's slow down. Here's Here's a look at the table, okay? Here it is. So this plywood, you know, if I didn't have the YouTube channel, I just would have used old plywood. But this plywood's one side plywood. Just this plywood and the wood alone cost me $260 to make this. I paid $20 for this desk. Okay. So <clears throat> the only thing I haven't finished is my camera holder. I got these hooks here. So I know I got to slow down when I'm talking about this, but I made this wall here. So I hang my Dremel on the outside of the wall. So when the wood, when I'm carving the wood, it, if the Dremel was hanging here, it would suck up the sawdust into the Dremel. So with this wall here, it stops the wood. So your Dremel's free from wood dust, okay? So also another thing I need to do too, I need to put a slot here so I can hang my Dremel here when I'm done carving. Because when you got your Dremel hanging there like that, once you're done carving it, it's all the grease on the inside of the shaft is hot and it will drip down into your handpiece and that's how your handpiece is uh, overheat. So, you know, it's good It's good to have your Dremel hanging higher and also leave it like this when you're done carving so the grease will just sit in here. I don't like that much grease. When I buy a, when I buy a new Dremel flex shaft, I take the inner flex shaft out and I take the grease off. It works better for me. Okay. So this will be for my Fordham. Yes, my Fordham does hang inside, but I can make it a little wall here too if I want. Um, here's my little slot there for my little Dremel screwdrivers. Okay. It's good to have a broom. So when I'm carving and everything doesn't go into this, you guys will notice this is a lot smaller than my other size one, but this is the aluminum plate. When I'm carving, I just sweep everything into a into a corner and then I'll, I use my, uh, like it's like a shop vac kind of thing that I got and I'll just vacuum it all up so one thing I did do I wish I didn't do I put caulking all along here okay I, I could have got some nice that nice trim board that's rounded and put that there so it's nice and clean but this the, you guys know me for all you that know me know that this isn't going to be clean for that long all right so this was something I just quickly carved today because I might have to put this here for my light that comes down I also got a wall here, okay, so the dust stops here, and I made a little screwdriver holder and scissors things, and here's a drawer for my burrs. What about, I like about this table is it's got these, uh, let's see here, it's got these table things that slide out, there's one on the other side too. This is a new burr holder I made today in 10 minutes, I didn't even screw it or nail it. I just epoxied it together so it's one by four you know pretend this was a solid two by four you can see this the space okay so it's pretend this was a solid two by four and you just drilled the holes well sooner or later if you're a mad carver like me the sawdust will sit inside the holes and you won't and your burrs won't go all the way down they'll kind of stand up like this and then eventually the holes will fill all the, I know you could suck them out with your vacuum but this way with a hole in there like that no sawdust will sit in the holes so here's some of my my favorite bits here cuts all there's some saber tooths and 
so the sizes are a bit bigger than one eighth and I also have holes there for my quarter inch burrs too. All right, so that's, it's a simple burr holder, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. And uh, there's the Card Infusion original sign up there. So now you'll see up top here, I know I got the lay, it's hard to see, but you see that fan? I cut a hole in the plywood, that's um, a computer fan, all right? So I thought I'd start off trying that one. <clears throat> I might have to upgrade, excuse me, I might have to upgrade to a bigger one. But that's just to suck up um, excess dust, you know. And I also have this 2x4 lip here. So when, say, if the dust comes up here and hits the top and comes here, it stops here, right? So it's it's almost like a dust proof from dust getting out of here. But you see this fan here, and I just got some LED lights up here. You see this fan. I got the hole cut in the top, okay? So I made a box. There's the fan. I made a box like this to go over it and this is just some cloth I got from the dollar store but I did a quick carving today so you can see sawdust in there already so it is collecting sawdust and I'll just put that in there and maybe a couple more layers so that will trap some dust too right just a quick little box I made and I put the screw to hold the, the thing to stuff stuff down so that's that okay so you guys follow me what's happening here? So my dust collector is in my closet. I do have a, there's the color of my new floors. I do have a, two moving blankets over my dust collector. I'm going to show you the dust collector right now. There won't be any sound because I had it out of the closet and I filmed it. Okay, so there's the dust collector. It's a one horsepower. That's a barrel top. I forget the name of it. But when you turn that, it's supposed to release the dust out of the filter which is, you can see the gray stuff inside the barrel there. It's a one horsepower. I don't know if some of you have noticed, but sometimes it squeaks. The motor squeaks when I do my um, videos because I've carved the soapstone and it gets inside the bearing. So I'm going to either need to change the bearings or buy a new shop vac for um, once I get some money. We'll have to wait till probably the springtime, early summertime, and I sell some carvings. All right, so there it is. So that's the dust collector, but I have two moving blankets I bought off Amazon. They're not the best, but they're not the worst for uh, noise reduction, okay? So I just close that. That's not as loud anymore. There's the aluminum plate. Just cut up the old one. This is an eight inch thing. It's a, what's it called? Uh, just Carve Rob, can you comment? What's it called? Like a dust shield or something? It's for an overhead dust thing, but it's eight inches wide and I used a router to router this part out so this plate fits in there good, like a little lip. And then so, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but you see it's, let's see if I can turn the flash on here. Hold on. Okay, so here's this part. The flash is turned on. Now you can see underneath there. Okay. You could, really, you could just pretend this plate was the table. You know, you could pretend that's a table and just drill the holes into the table itself and then screw that right up into the table, that, that box thing. Um, just carve, I forget the name of them, but, um, and then just hook up your hose. The one that I have is a four inch hose, I believe it is. So that goes to my cyclone filter. Oh, this switch too is my emergency switch. I could take this off, it's kind of a joke, but this switch is for on off for the dust collector and the fan up there turns it on too. But this is my cyclone filter. This is a bigger one. It is, um, hold on one sec, please. Okay, so that's my cyclone filter. So the dust goes from the table under there, up that hose into the cyclone filter, and then hopefully not much dust will go into the shot vac because this dust, this cyclone filter catches most of the dust, okay? So if you don't have a cyclone filter, you can buy cheaper ones, or they even sell ones that go on top of garbage can lids. If you don't have this cyclone filter, your, your shop vac or your dust collector is going to plug, the filter is going to plug up really quick, and you're not going to get that much suction. So like I said, they make ones that for cheap for like $30 that fit on top of garbage cans, or you can get one like this or a smaller one like this. There's some in my Amazon store listed below. And you can, they got cyclone filters that do have the smaller tubes that do hook up the shop vacs. So this is my on off switch. 
these are my Fordham keys to open to undo your collets. Um, the on off switch. So I'll just turn it on and off quickly. So when I'm sitting here carving, right? Turn it on. There, everything's running. The dust collector's running now. And that's running. So that will catch all the fine, fine particles of dust. Just turn it off. So I don't have to leave my table when I'm carving to turn it on and off. And also, I have a power bar for all my power. This is for the light, this one. And then uh, I got these. So when I'm done carving for the day, I just turn the power bar off. And the light's hooked up to the power bar. And that way I know everything's turned off. I just click. That's done. So, what do you guys think of the new carving table? We're going to make lots of uh, YouTube videos in this table. Oh, one thing I think this thing is uh, missing. How could I have forgot? This table's missing two things, isn't it? Let's do this. Three, two, one. One thing I could never forget was Ben over there at uh, Studio on the Lake YouTube channel. And Just Carve Rob uh, YouTube channel. They're my favorite two YouTube channels for Dremel carving. One thing I do want to show you guys. So Ben's got the stinky old sock because, well, he sent me some socks a couple years back. And Just Carve Rob loves eating toast. So there's a piece of taupe with the Just Carve Rob shop. I should put crafts and hobbies on there too. So, but one thing I didn't talk about was my um, Dremel foot pedal. Oh, I also did cut a little notch in here. So watch this. So like when I'm done carving, you know, you got your Dremel in your hand, you're done carving, you hang the thing up, boom, just simple, just like that. One thing I didn't talk about was I'm running the, I'll be running the Dremel 4000 flex shaft on most of my upcoming videos. Well, all my videos, it's a Dremel that I like um, with the flex shaft and I got a Ford and foot pedal, but you guys can just buy the cheap pedals from uh, Amazon. This doesn't work as speed control on the new Dremels, so it's just basically on and off. But I do suggest you get, get yourself a foot pedal because, like, watch this. You know, so on off with the foot pedal. You don't have to, to go over and turn this on and off over here. So that's it, everybody. There's my new table. What do you guys think? And I'm excited to get back to Dremel and making some new videos, some new creations. Carbon Fusion, over and out.